behind 1-0 to Elijah McNamee. That ball is hammered. It's a fair ball down the line. Mangum's going to come in, heading to third base and being held there after a double for McNamee. It is now a two-run game, and the tying runs are at second and third. It's bigger now. On the ground, Holland fields it cleanly, goes to first, low throw. Oh, what a scoop over there. By Rankin Woley, a huge play. And now a one-run game. He short-armed it a little bit, but wow, did Woley come up with... On the ground to third. Takes his time and he throws it over the head of the first baseman. Edward Julian had an opportunity to tag out. Elijah McNamee, he was running right into him and he opted instead to throw the ball to first and he threw it over the head of Woley and we are tied. But I, I don't mind that he didn't try to tag McNamee. That's fine. But this is the problem. Watch how many steps he takes after he makes a play. One, two, three, shuffle. That's not what he practices. That's not what he does. And every shuffle that he took, every shuffle that he took, he would get taller and taller. And the taller you get, the quicker you release the ball and it stays up and out of your control. You have to stay down and through the ball when you throw it. Gilbert off the glove, and it gets away, and Mississippi State has rallied. They score four in the bottom of the ninth, and shock Auburn. They win it 5-4. appeared to deflect off the glove of Burns. Bliss was too far behind the bag at second. He had an in-between hop. And how about the Bulldog scoring four on a very shaky inning from Auburn. Guys, we've seen this year after year. The hardest outs to make, not only for pitchers, but on defense. Game speeds up on you in Mississippi State, 28th time this season. 28 come from behind victories. They can't believe it.